More than 11 million people visited the Great Smoky Mountains National Park last year, but the latest data shows almost half of those visitors spend less than three hours outside of their car. Fox 43 reporter Grant Robinson brings us perspective on those numbers. The last time the National Park Service did a survey to see what park visitors actually come for, hiking was not at the top of the list. The main reason for planning a trip, viewing scenery and taking a scenic drive. And the second reason, it's one of the reasons Felix Gostell is here. You know, I always hope that I'm going to see some wildlife. You know, I'm hoping that I get to see a bear. Today, he's hiking the Chimney Tops Trail. When the National Park did a big survey back in 2008, it was the second most visited trail in the National Park, behind only the paved path to Laurel Falls. This is going to be one of the shortest hikes, I think, overall that I've done. At the end of his day, Gostell will have spent more time on the trails than a lot of visitors. The last survey found that 45% of visitors spend less than three hours outside of their car when visiting the Smokies. But that doesn't mean they're doing anything wrong. From the very beginning, the National Park was designed so that it could be enjoyed from the road. The 1930s, when uh, auto touring was becoming very popular and there were a lot of auto touring clubs, and they wanted to provide that kind of an experience for people in the eastern U.S. Once fall hits, someone says even more visitors spend time close to their car. And with a landscape that changes dramatically from the valley to its highest peaks, it makes sense that the visitors want to see as much as they can. The 2008 survey says that half of the people who come to the Smokies only stay two or three days. Always wish I could have had more time. In the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Grant Robinson, Fox 43 News.